This is Laura. Laura works at an agency. She's responsible for seven figures of agency revenue, but she's paid a mid five figure salary. This is Steve. Steve is a freelancer. Most of his time is spent doing things he doesn't want to do just so he can maintain a handful of clients. One day, Laura and Steve have an idea to team up and form their own agency. Then Laura could get a bigger cut of the revenue she generates, and Steve could handle more clients and focus on the work that he does best. At first, they try Upwork, but they quickly discover that they can't get reliable clients or charge agency-level fees while competing with the bottom feeders of the internet. Then they try Vendasta, which bills itself as a white-label agency, but they learn just reselling Vendasta's products under their own brand is not very compelling to customers. The problem is, nobody has ever heard of Laura and Steve, and nobody wants to pay them like an agency because they don't have the things that businesses expect from an agency. To develop those things is going to take time and resources that detract from what they really want, which is to do the work they're good at and get paid well for it. That's where Ethical Digital fits in. Ethical Digital gives Laura and Steve an agency framework with an agency workflow backed by a strong brand and everything they need to deliver the level of service that businesses expect from an agency. Laura and Steve can focus on what they're good at and Ethical Digital does everything else. That means Laura will make more money doing the exact same thing she did at her last job and Steve will be able to take on more clients because he's not doing everything himself. Now that Laura and Steve are in business together, they have another problem. How are they going to split the revenue? Should they share it 50-50 even for the clients that Steve already had? What if they need to bring on more help? Should the new person get a cut? What if Steve is only available part-time and Laura is available full-time? Ethical Digital has an answer that we call Partnerships On Demand. Our system lets you form equity-based partnerships with other individuals on a client-by-client -client basis. It awards every person their share of the revenue based on the role or roles they play for a particular client. For every client that Steve brings in, he gets a minimum 25% of the revenue. Likewise, Laura gets 25% for every client that she brings in. An additional 50% of the revenue is shared by the account manager and whoever does the work. Suppose one client is paying for PPC, SEO, and social media. The account manager will pick specialists for each of those services and share the revenue based on their rates. Both Laura and Steve can play any combination of these roles and the equity they receive is stacked accordingly. With 25% going to sales, and 50% going to account management and fulfillment, that means 75% of all the revenue goes into Laura and Steve's pockets. For Laura, this is a dramatically higher share than she was getting doing the same work at a traditional agency. As for Steve, he realizes that a smaller share of a much bigger pie means he can finally reach that six-figure income without losing his independence. If that makes sense to you, your next question should be, what do Laura and Steve get for the other 25%? Every business has expenses and digital marketing is no different. With Ethical Digital, 10% of all revenue is dedicated to covering variable costs and contingencies. Those are things like product licenses, client website hosting, refunds, and chargebacks. As a freelancer, Steve was budgeting more than 10% of revenue for these things already, so this comes as a savings to him. That leaves just 15% for everything that Ethical Digital provides, including the platform, the brand, SOPs, client landing pages, client dashboards, client site setup and hosting, and much, much more. To put things in perspective, Upwork takes up to a 20% cut of every transaction just to use their platform. We take only a 15% cut and we work for you. For Laura, Ethical Digital gives her the best part of working for an agency and the best part of being independent. She can transport her exact same job. She can even bring over the same team from the rigid hierarchy of a traditional agency, and she can earn more money while charging her clients less. For Steve, Ethical Digital doesn't just let him keep his professional freedom. It gives him more freedom by liberating him from having to do everything himself. He can specialize in the role he wants to play and leave the rest to someone else. Because Laura and Steve are partners and not employees, they discover that working together is way easier than they ever imagined. There's no constant negotiating, no wrestling over who can put in less and get more in return. As a freelancer himself, Steve knows all too well what it's like to hire help and struggle to hold them accountable. 
Laura and Steve are on the same page because that's what equity does. It aligns people's interest in growing the pie rather than fighting over their share. Equity also keeps them focused on the long-term well-being of their clients instead of short-term gains. At her previous agency, Laura saw salespeople who would make inflated promises just to get a commission, and she saw specialists who got paid just for showing up rather than for performance. But with Ethical Digital, everyone flourishes together by doing what's right for the client. That makes the role of management so much easier, which is why instead of layers of management and directors and supervisors like at a traditional agency, the chain of command with Ethical Digital is simple. Whoever brings in the client picks the account manager, and the account manager calls the shots for that account. Now, when Steve first heard about how Ethical Digital works, let's be honest, he thought it sounded kinda complicated. After all, as a freelancer, he's used to charging either a flat fee or an hourly rate. What's all this equity business? But then he started to think through all the complicated scenarios that Ethical Digital can handle. He might do pay-per-click for one client and SEO for another client. For yet another client, he might be the account manager and appoint himself to PPC and someone else to SEO. He might give a client to Laura to manage, or Laura might pick him to do web design for an account that she manages. Trying to keep track of all these different relationships with different terms would be mind-boggling, but the platform takes all these revenue streams and combines them into two monthly payments. When Laura first heard about Ethical Digital, she worried that she would miss the tools, resources, and support that she's used to getting from an agency. But then she explored the Ethical Digital platform and discovered that it actually makes her job easier. Unlike the fragmented solutions cobbled together by her previous agency, Ethical Digital gives her a unified suite of tools that are tailor-made for her workflow. By partnering with Ethical Digital, Laura and Steve are able to do better work and make a larger income than they can either by working for an agency or by going it alone. If you are like Laura or Steve, we hope you'll join us too.